Happy money for what? Happy money? Okay. Today, we are going to learn about uh, group uh, 80 elements. Group 80 elements. What is group 18 element? Group number 18 in the periodic table. That is a noble gas, inertia gas, a rare gas because it is obtained only really rare. So we are saying rare gas. Okay. So group 18 elements. About the occurrence of group 18 elements, all the noble gas are occur in the atmosphere. In the atmosphere. Okay. Can you see what are the gases in noble gas? Helium. Neon, Argon, Krypton, uh, Xenon, and Radon. These are all what? Noble gas. Okay? About the periodic table and its properties, about we can be learned that. In the, as we move along, the noble gas elements, their atomic radius and boiling points are increasing in the periodic table. They are moving along the noble gas elements. Their atomic radius and boiling points are increases from helium to radon. Helium to radon. Which are increasing atomic radius and boiling point. Atomic radius and boiling point is increases from helium to radon. Clear? And also the first ionization energy decreases from helium to radon. The first ionization energy. Or if you know that ionization energy, you let me you can be learn in the love the grade. The amount of energy required to remove most loosely bound electron. The amount of energy required to remove the most loosely bound electron. That is called what? Ionization energy. Here the ionization energy, the first ionization energy decreases, decreases from helium to radon. Helium to radon, it is decreases. The noble gas have largest ionization energy. Here, the noble gas have largest ionization energy. One of the very good property is it is completely filled orbital. Completely filled. Can you see what is the uh, configuration, electronic configuration? What is the general formula for uh, electronic configuration of noble gas? NS2 NB6. The general electronic configuration is NS2 NB6. Okay. They are stable. Okay. They are stable compound because they are completely filled in the shell. They are stable. The electrons are completely filled. And one more the property. They have small tendency to gain or lose electron. They have a very small tendency to gain or lose electron. These are the some general uh, characteristics. Let us, we can be learn about that the physical, uh, common physical properties of the group 18 elements. The common uh, physical properties of group 18 elements. About the physical state Physical state that is helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon, these are all gas state. About the atomic number, what is about the atomic number of helium is? The atomic number of helium is 2. And neon, the atomic number is 10. And the argon, the atomic number is 80. Krypton, the atomic number is 36. And xenon, the atomic number is 54. And radon, the atomic number is 86. These are the atomic numbers. About the isotopes of this uh, group 80. That means we are taking neon, neon the isotopes is 20 and about the argon the isotopes is 40 and about the krypton isotopes is 84 and xenon the isotope is 132 and radon is having 3 isotopes that is only 211, 220 and 222 are the 3 isotopes of uh, radon. And regarding for the uh, electronic configuration, already I told you about the electronic configuration it have NS2 NP6 configuration, okay? NS2 NP6 configuration because all uh, it is completely filled in their cell, okay? So that it have the general configuration is NS2 NP6. 
So the electronic configuration of helium is uh, already told you that the atomic number is 2, so we can be written as 1s2. And about the neon, the atomic number is 10, so we can be written as 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. And uh, argon, the atomic number is 80, we are taking neon, uh, neon that is 3s2, 3p6, 3s2, 3p6. And about the krypton, the atomic number is 36, we are taking argon, argon into, and also we are writing 3d10, 4s2, 4p6. And uh, next about the xenon, the atomic number is 54. We are taking krypton, krypton into 4 d 10, 5 s 2 and 5 p 6. And also the last one is radon, the atomic number is 86. Here we are taking xenon into 4 of 14, 5 d 10, uh, 6 s 2 and 6 p 6. These are the electronic configuration. And about the atomic radius, melting point, density, boiling point, etc. have some theoretical value. These are all given in the in the form of table. So, okay, please uh, uh, look the table and uh, learn all the uh, all the values. Okay, this is important for the one word. Okay, next about the physical properties. What are the physical properties of noble gas? Noble gas is a monoatomic. It is a monoatomic. It is not a diatomic, triatomic. Not. It is only a monoatomic because we are writing the formula of an helium is HGE. Okay, neon, NE, argon, AR, like that it is a monoatomic, it is a colorless and it is a uh, tasteless, okay, colorless, uh, waterless and it is a tasteless and also it is a non-flammable uh, gas, they are highly, they are highly uh, unreactive, the noble gas are unreactive compounds uh, and as they are non-metallic nature, it cannot conduct electricity, so it is a non-metallic uh, nature. And also about the physical pro chemical properties. What are the chemical properties means? Here the noble gas means reactive with one of the halogen. For example, uh, we are taking xenon. The symbol of xenon is Hc. And we are taking halogen on fluorine. So, xenon reacts with the fluorine to form three types of compounds. That is uh, xenon difluoride, xenon tetrafluoride and xenon hexafluoride. These are all very important tumor questions. So you should be write the equation and you should be balance the equation and also you should be mention the temperature. These are all very very important for the our whole examination question. So please all of you take your note and we can be write the equation and how can you balance the equation. Okay? Please take the notebook all of you. The chemical properties of of xenon compounds, okay, we can be written as chemical properties of xenon, okay, here first one, xenon reacts with the fluid, okay, first one is the xenon reacts with, we are taking xenon, reacts with fluorine. Here, what's the product? Xenon difluoride, that is XEF2. Okay? Here, the temperature is a must compulsory for the temperature. And which catalyst we are using? Here, we are using catalyst, this is a Ni, nickel. And the temperature also should be like 400 degree Celsius. So, very, very important. How is Xenon difluoride prepared? How is Xenon, please, all of you the question. How is xenon difluoride prepared? This question. Xenon reacts with the fluoride to form xenon difluoride and also you should be write the catalyst and also the temperature. Next of all, how is xenon tetrafluoride prepared? Okay, that is xenon reacts with the fluoride. We get xenon tetrafluoride. Okay, the formula is XeF4. XeF4. Here you are using the temperature is also three. 400 degrees Celsius and also we are using nickel and also acetone did you have the name acetone? acetone, acetone it is an uh, organic compound organic chemistry compound okay the formula for acetone that is a CH3 CO CH3 acetone CH3 CO CH3 okay I am listening. A proper one. We can be discussed later. We have the lesson. Acetone. Okay. We can be discussed later. Next about how is xenon tetrafluoride prepared? Xenon reacts with the fluorine to form 
senile tetrafluoride. The equation is to be balanced. Here are four fluorine, so make it two. So the equation is balanced. Next step one, how is senile hexafluoride? How is senile hexafluoride prepared? Okay. Senile reacts with the fluorine to form EXEF6. Canon hexafluoride. Canon hexafluoride. Here, temperature, conditions, everything is the same. Nickel and also 400 degrees Celsius. And also here it should be like 200 atmospheric pressure. Yet here. Okay? It's a very, very important question. Okay? Senon compound. Senon compound. That is, how is senon difluoride prepared? How is senon tetrafluoride prepared? And how is senon hexafluoride prepared? Okay? Next of all, senon hexafluoride. Senon uh, hexafluoride formula X, E, F, O, F6. Okay? Senon hexafluoride. Okay? The senon hexafluoride or reacts with or heated with silica. We can be say sealed quartz. Okay, silica that is SI1. Silica or silica dioxide. We are taking SI1 and the temperature is 50 degrees Celsius. What is the temperature? 50 degrees Celsius. Here the silica combines with the fluorine. Silica combines with the fluorine. Can you see what is the product? Silica combines the fluorine. SiFO. We get SiFO. Silica tetrafluoride. Silica tetrafluoride. Silica tetrafluoride. And also, what is important is obtained. Senon reacts with oxygen and also fluorine. We get Senon oxyfluoride. The formula is X. E O F four okay okay senon oxyfluoride X E O F four X E O F four senon oxyfluoride how can we balance the equation uh, here having fluorine six there having fluorine eight so make it two here here also can be make it two here now the equation is balanced am I right two senon two senon okay oxygen 2 oxygen, 2 oxygen, fluorine, 6, 12. 2 in the 4 is 8, 8 plus 4, 12. Okay, equation is balanced. Can I write the equation? How is uh, senon oxyfluoride? Senon oxyfluoride prepared. That's the question. Senon oxyfluoride formula is XeOF4. XE O F O. Okay. Then next one is what happens? Senon oxyfluoride reacts with silica. It's a question. What happens? Senon oxyfluoride X E O F O reacts with silica. And silica dioxide. Silica or silica dioxide. Okay. So the silicon combines with the fluoride. Silicon combines with the fluorine. What's the product? XiFO. Silica. Silica combines with the fluorine to form XiFO. So, what are the remaining products we get? Silicon, oxygen, fluorine. So, what's the product? XiO2, F2. So, what are the products of it? XiO2, F2. Senon dioxide difluoride. Senon dioxide difluoride. Okay. Senon dioxide difluoride. It should be balanced the equation. Uh, it should be make it true here. Yeah. Make it true. Okay. How to balance the equation previously I told you. You should be uh, do practice, okay. Then only you can be easily doing. Make it uh, fast, we have not time. If you have a doubt, please call me, okay. I will help you. The next one.
Xenon oxy that is xenon XeO2 F2. Xenon dioxide difluoride on reacts with silica. Xenon dioxide difluoride on reacts with silica. So what's the point? Silica reacts with the fluorine. So what's the point? Can you say silica reacts with the fluorine? What's the point? SiFO. SiFO plus silicon xenon uh, trioxide. That is Xc. O3 XeO3 plus SiFO So how can you balance the equation? Here I have 4 oxygen They have two, uh, 3 oxygen So make it 2 here Make it 2 here Then what about uh, Senon 2, Senon 2, Senon Oxygen, Oxygen balance Okay, everything is balanced Okay Next about on hydrolysis here xenon hexafluoride that is XeFO we are adding water on hydrolysis xenon tetrafluoride not tetrafluoride hexafluoride okay xenon hexafluoride on hydrolysis with the water we get is higher than combines with the fluorine. Can you say hydrogen combines to fluorine? What's the point? Hydrogen fluoride. Hydrogen combines to fluorine to form hydrogen fluoride. And xenon reacts with oxygen. Xenon reacts with oxygen. We get xenon trioxide. The formula is XeO3. Xenon trioxide plus hydrogen combines to fluorine to form HF. So, how much fluorine is there? 6 fluorine. So, make it 6 here. How much hydrogen is there? 6 hydrogen. Make it 3. Now the equation is balanced. Can you write the equation? Next one is the very, very, very important question. Uh, what happens? Xenon hexafluoride reacts with the sodium hydroxide. That is alkane. One of the very important question. Xenon uh, hexafluoride, the formula XeF4, XeF6, XeF. Reacts with the sodium hydroxide. What's the product? Okay, what is the product? That means xenon hexafluoride reacts with the sodium hydroxide. That is, we are giving 2.5 molarity. 2.5 molarity. What is the of molarity? We are giving the symbol capital M. Molarity means we are giving the symbol capital. What is the of molarity means? The number of moles of solute per liter of a solution. How much solute per liter of a solution? That is called what? Molarity. Here we are using how much molarity? 2.5 M. Okay, 2.5 M. Okay, capital M. 2.5 M. Okay. We get what's the quality? Sodium per sandate. Sodium per sandate. Formula NFO. NFO XeO6 Okay, XeO6 What's the name of this carbon? Sodium per sandate Sodium per sandate And also we get Xenon Plus oxygen And also we are getting uh, NF Plus water. So one of the very very important questions. Okay. That is xenon hexafluoride reacts with 2.5 m sodium hydroxide. We get sodium per sandate, sodium per sandate, and also xenon plus oxygen plus sodium fluoride, and also we get water. How can we balance the equation? That's a very important. How can you balance the equation? Uh, here, here I have two xenon. Am I right? How many xenon are you? Here one, here one, two xenon. So make it two here. Okay, two xenon. Now, how much fluorine is there? Two six are total fluorine is there. So we can be make it fluorine.
6, 12, 12 flow. Okay? Now, sodium. How much sodium is there? 12 sodium plus 4 sodium. How much sodium? 12 plus 4. We get 16 sodium. Here. Yeah? So, how much hydrogen is there? Here. How much hydrogen? 16 hydrogen. So, here we can make change as 8. 8 choose as 16. I think that now the equation is balanced. Am I right? Clear? Have it now? So, one of the important questions for what thing I am taking. All of you must write the equation now. Okay? What happens? Senon X of Y. EX EF6. Okay? Senon X of Y reacts with sodium hydroxide. So, what are the products that are obtained? NF4 XeO6. Okay? What's the name of this compound? NA4XEO6 sodium percent okay plus xenon plus oxygen plus sodium complex to fluorine to form NAF plus OH and hydrogen so water also your water water now balance the equation how can we balance the equation here having one xenon here having two xenon, so make it two here. How much fluorine is there? Twelve fluorine, make it twelve here. So fluorine, fluorine balance. What about the sodium? Twelve sodium, twelve plus four sodium. How much sodium is there? Twelve plus four, sixteen. So here make it sixteen. How much hydrogen is there? Sixteen hydrogen. So make it here eight. So eight two sir, sixteen. The oxygen also balance, I think that uh, 16 oxygen is there. So we already 6 over 6 plus 2, 8 over 8 plus 8, 16. Now the equation is balanced. A very, very important question. The question How Senon X of Y reacts with sodium hydroxide? Okay, that's the question. And also, uh, about sodium percentage. It is one of the strong oxidizing property. One of the strong oxidizing properties. Sodium percentage. This is a sodium percentage. One of the strong oxidizing property. It oxidizes manganese 2 ion. They are saying that on 2 Mn plus. Okay, manganese 2, 2 ions. That is Mn 2 plus. It, it oxidizes manganese. Two ions into permanganate ions. Okay, into permanganate ions. That is MnO4. MnO4 minus ion. Minus ion. That's one of the important point. Sodium percentage oxidase Mn2 plus ion into MnO4 minus ion. That's the question. Okay, in the absence of catalyst, we can be take percentage ion. Percentage ion means XCO6. XeO6 XeO6 4 minus ion okay. plus Mn plus ion this all react in the presence of X plus ions oxidizing property okay percentage ions Mn2 plus ions and H plus ions okay and on oxidation we get this is a permanganate ion and also we get xenon trioxide and water. XeO3 plus water. That's what. So how can we balance the equation? The balance equation is also very important. Here we should be making two here. Okay? So we are also getting 2m1. 2m1 plus. And also here also we make it, here we make it easiest way to make it 5. Here also we make it 5. Sun on 5, sun on 5. Then about count the oxygen. How much oxygen is there? 5, 6 or 30. Here 8, 8 plus 15, 23. Am I right? 
How much is the sum? So make it sum here. Okay, sum what molecules. So how much hydrogen is here? 14 hydrogen. Sum and 2 is equal to 40. Now the equation is back. Okay. Next about uh, part of the area. Next about the structure of compounds of xenon. Okay, structure of compounds of xenon. For the new students, please try to understand the structures. It's a very important structure. Those who are joining me, you should be draw the structure of compounds of xenon. And also you should learn about the hybridization. Uh, hybridization. Hybridization is I told you about that in the, the center mixing of an orbital. Hybridization SP3, SP3D. Just I told you how to uh, find out the hybridization of the combo. I told you, if you have any doubt, this uh, call me. Okay? Yes. Salon for it. Okay, salon. That is a. Uh, Hybridization SP3, so I told you, SP3 hybridization, SP3 D hybridization, and the shape structure, shape structure linear. Okay, linear is a linear. Next about XCF, F4. F4. The hybridization is sp3d2. Hybridization sp3d2. Okay, sp3d2. It's a square planar. Okay, square planar. Let me do it that. That is xc. F. 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 This is a square planar. Am I right? This is a square planar. And also now we have the two lone pair of electrons. This are the bond of it, bond pair. How much is bond pair? Four bond pair. Okay. Two lone pair. This is the, the structure of square planar. Square planar. Can you draw for the need? Next one, EXCF6. EXCF6. This total octa electron, that is a hybridization, SP3D3. SP3D3 hybridization. Uh, previously, I told you that how to uh, find out the hybridization. Okay, uh, distorted octahedron, octahedron. Okay, distorted octahedron. That also you should be try octahedron. X C F F F F. Yes, being that only the three and the one D, okay. One D only. Okay. So this is a distorted octahedron. And also having one lone pair of electron. Okay. Xenon having one lone pair of electron. Okay. The shape, don't forget to draw the shape. Okay? Can you draw? Next about Salon oxyfluorine. Okay, salon oxyfluorine, oxidifluorine. XCOF2. So not oxyfluorine. 
What is the hydrolysis in this sp3d? sp3d hydrolysis. sp3d hydrolysis. Here the shape is T shape. What is the shape? T shape. Yesterday we learned about the T shape. Somewhat difficult here. That is some uh, some some more difficult to okay. How to draw this? We should be taken care of like this. First we draw the serum. How much fluid is there? Fluid. Fluid. Okay. Two fluid. What about oxygen? Oxygen. This is a structure and also it has two long pair of legs. Okay, this is a shape. Can you draw? T shape. Okay. Next about Senon oxy tetra fluoride. Senon oxy tetra fluoride. XEOF4. Senon oxy tetra fluoride. It is a shape for square pyramidal and also the hybridization sp3d2 sp3d2 okay sp3d2 the shape is a square pyramidal okay square pyramid that is you should be right the senon senon uh, how much oxygen is there only one oxygen how much fluid is there four fluid okay Four fluid. Yes. 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 Four fluid. And also, here having one load pair of electrons. How much load pair of electrons? One load pair of electrons. Okay, this is the Sanon oxy. Sanon oxy tetra fluid. Can you draw? Then. Sanon trioxide. Sanon trioxide. The structure. What is the structure of Sanon trioxide? XCO3. Sanon trioxide. What is the hybridization in the SP3? Hybridization in SP3. The shape is pyramidal. How can you draw the uh, surround oxide trioxide? Surround trioxide. Here, how much surround is there? Only one surround. Okay. How much oxygen is there? Three oxygen. Bond is double bond. Double bond. Double bond. Surround oxide trioxide. And it have one lone pair of electron. Okay. Can you draw? One of the important questions. What are the uses of noble gas? Can you see which are the elements in noble gas? Helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon. Uh, so helium is a very, very important for the tumor question. What is the use of helium? Helium oxygen mixture is used in the deep sea drivers. Okay? Uh, in the place of oxygen mixture we are using it prevent the painful dangerous condition is called bends okay. second one it is used to uh, provide inert atmosphere in the electric or welding purpose or the welding purpose next also helium has the lowest boiling point the boiling body is very, very high so it is used as a, used as a cryogenic cryogenic it is a low temperature science we are learning that one next about it is a very much le uh, denser than air so it is uh, used in uh, filling air balloons these are the four uses at least you should be learning any three uses for the helium okay next about the uses of neon it is used for the advertisement advertisement neon bulb neon bulb we are using next about the argon it is used for the oxidation of hot filament for uh, filling the uh, Bulb, bulb filament. This is we are using argon. And about the, uh, the krypton, krypton uses. It is used for the fluorescent bulb. Fluorescent bulb we are using also flash bulb. We are using flash bulb. Okay. 
and also uh, we are uh, the krypton one more use it is used in the airport airport we are approaching uh, the light then it can be passed to the fog etc okay then we are the use for the light purpose krypton we are using and also the sun also we are using the uh, fluorescent bulb fluorescent bulb uh, we are using and also about the radar all of you know that only this uh, one of the radioactive uh, radioactive element okay and also it it uh, in the capsule form taking the gas and it is used to for the treatment uh, mm, treatment for the cancer purpose okay these are the uses for the nobel case at least you should be learned for the one or two point is enough it may be asked a question and about the uh, today assignment what's the assignment mean you should be learn the nobel case okay a uh, few points about the nobel case today assignment and also the one word question the textbook having a lot of one word and also the book bag question some of the book bag question here uh, at least you should be learn at the very very important important uh, question because i have been mean, every day i am saying day by day i am saying you should be write the assignment then only you can be know which are the important question this is a very big lesson in the period uh, p block alone is a very big lesson Uh, we have a lot of lot of equation. At least one equation, yeah, that should be right. Okay. So for today assignment uh, to learn about the uses of noble gas and also and that one bed, one bed textbook be, page number ninety six. Please take the page number ninety six. Uh, book bag question again. There and the answers are on the page number two thirty five. Page number two thirty five. The one bed answers are again and also book bag some questions, uh, especially for the question number twenty six. Complete the following equation. Following equation, uh, you should be write the product and also try to balance the equation. And also, if you have any doubt, what sort of the law, doubt having is, please call me. Okay. Then only we can be write the equation. Okay. We have no time during the revision. Then we can be clear the uh, remaining doubts area. Okay. Please time all of your time. Have a nice day.